Hey guys, this is a video showing you how to make custom wallpapers and uh, import them into Winterboard application. And then uh, you can have a custom wallpaper like I have in the background uh, two stars, iPhone expert, Alex Osh, 1234. I should have put subscribe so you guys should subscribe too. Uh, this is a tutorial video, so uh, follow along and uh, you should be able to make your own custom wallpaper like this okay so um, I'm using a uh, filezilla to uh, SSH into my iPhone you wanna have uh, open SSH installed on Cydia so if you don't have that go into Cydia and uh, install the application called open SSH uh, if you don't know how to SSH type in on YouTube uh, SSH into iPhone and uh, there'll be a bunch of videos showing you how to do this but uh, it's a pretty simple process so what you're gonna do is you're gonna connect through SSH and uh, you'll see your root folder it's gonna be like that probably you wanna double click then you're gonna wanna scroll down to where you see you wanna scroll down to where you see library right here then you're gonna scroll down again to where you see themes double click on that then you're gonna see a little theme thing like this and I wanna tell you guys that you have to have winterboard the application that you can get on Cydia it's called winterboard you can just go on uh, all applications and you'll find it it's called winterboard uh, you have to have that installed already so make sure you have that installed or else you can't do it so uh, you're gonna see this uh, it's gonna say themes uh, dot j5 ak 0s uh, also you wanna make sure you have well actually you don't need to but you should have like one other theme installed that you can find on uh, Cydia if you want you can have another you want to double click on this and then uh, two things will come up uh, I have already downloaded on two other themes blacklight and Soric but then uh, what you want to what you want to do is you want right, to right click and say create directory I've already done this but uh, I'm gonna actually I'll do it again create directory and then uh, it will come up like this private slash var slash dash slash themes themes slash soric slash new directory you're gonna wanna replace that uh, say with uh, a wallpaper or a new wallpaper or a name you give it like custom wallpaper or whatever you wanna name it you wanna name that I'm, I'm gonna cancel it but uh, I created one called wallpaper so uh, I clicked on that and then uh, under this it shows like yeah, I click on this and it shows the wallpaper that I um, made. Um, what I actually did is I went into a uh, sort. Actually, yeah, black black light, and uh, I f I uh, found one of these. Any of these ones, you can just you want to double click on those. Say you double click on that, and then uh, say uh, it's gonna pop up like something that it's gonna download it to uh, the folder that you have over here uh, is in my case it's a uh, user slash test slash iPhone expert <laughs> I just made that folder for uh, stuff that I do so uh, it's gonna download it so click OK then you're gonna wanna navigate to that folder uh, should be somewhere it's gonna be in here in that folder you just imported it to Oh, to import it, you just double click on it and it's probably going to pop up as like you're importing it. You want to click uh, yes to whatever that is that it pops up. Then you're going to want to navigate to it. Uh, it's going to be under the name that it, it was right there, Blacklight. Uh, this is just for beginners, but uh, so you know how to. It already has the template uh, for a uh, banner, for a wallpaper, I mean, but. Uh, I see you see it there so you're gonna right click on that then you wanna open it you should open it in fireworks uh, if you don't have fireworks then um, I think you can just create a uh, file that is a uh, PNG file in another program that you can do images in 
and uh, then you can just upload it to that uh, file that you made like I made the wallpaper file you wanna upload it to that I'll show you how to do that really quickly no it's pretty simple so uh, I can just edit this say I type uh, whatever doesn't matter really what I type uh, I keep typing the wrong stuff. Whatever, you can type whatever you want on this. Make it your custom wallpaper. You can also uh, say you want to like delete it. Or you can just uh, look at dimensions and uh, create a new wallpaper. And uh, once you've created that, you want to save it. And then you want to... Uh, it's better to save it in the same folder you have already open up here. And then you're going to want to navigate to it. Uh, say I just saved it as the same thing, blacklight. Uh, because I just downloaded that blacklight wallpaper theme you're gonna wanna drag it over and since it's the same one over here it's the same one I'm gonna wanna replace it but uh, say I have that wallpaper I created that directory and you made a new wallpaper using a uh, image creator uh, you're gonna wanna just drag it over then uh, it's a pretty simple process and then you wanna go back onto uh, you're going to want to go back onto your phone and uh, go to, let's see, go to Winterboard. And uh, as you see there, wallpaper is there. Uh, sometimes, the first time I did it, it messed up a little, like cut off the wallpaper. But uh, I just redid it on the thing, I recopied it back and uh, it worked perfectly. Uh, see, wallpaper, I click on that. It's going to take a little, a few seconds. Uh, but it's gonna make that wallpaper so remember you have to create that directory then you make create an image then you uh, drag the wall the image or whatever wallpaper you made into that directory and make sure that it's uh you follow where the file is because if you upload it to the wrong file it's not gonna work the wrong place make sure uh, remember it is in uh, it's in root then you're going to want to go down to uh, li click on library go down to themes double click and it's going to be there remember to right click create that directory create your image and uh, then you have a custom image that you can use for any your wallpaper so uh, just message me if you have questions and uh, it's pretty simple if you uh, know how to use that use this program and uh, I'll put the filezilla link actually I don't want to put the link it's just type in filezilla on Google and you'll find how to download it if you don't already have an SSH program uh, message me for questions uh, try to make them uh, legitimate questions uh, try it a few times you shouldn't have to try it a few times but uh, it should definitely work and uh, please subscribe to my videos uh, more will be coming out especially maybe some tomorrow because uh, installer 4.0 is supposed to be coming out see that's my custom wallpaper on me I just uh, made that in about 20 seconds, so you can be creative. So, see you guys, and please subscribe. Thanks. And uh, check out my website, iPhoneExpert.com. Just how you spell it like that. And uh, thanks.